After a very lengthy grind, I finally got one. A Dust Rock Blues with Full Choke, Akrise Rounds, and Range Masterwork. But here's the thing. Not even hours after I get this, Full Choke gets nerfed. So I had to test shotguns again, and my synopsis at this moment with just a little bit of testing, I think that Full Choke makes the max range kill a little bit more consistent, but Rifled Barrel might make the in-between ranges even more consistent because Rifled Barrel actually has precision damage. So why Dust Rock Blues? Why am I so fascinated with this particular shotgun? That's because it has the longest one-shot kill range of a pellet shotgun, not to be confused with a slug shotgun like the Chaperone. Clearly, all slug shotguns will kill slightly further than pellet shotguns. Chaperone significantly further. So this is what it is. This is the rate of fire. It's very, very slow, so it's not very good with dealing with multiple targets, but it is good for cleaning up with a weapon like Not Forgotten. See, it's the fact that I consider the Not Forgotten the best gun in the entire game that I'm really, really incentivized to find a weapon that pairs well with it. For my snipe, I've been using Fight of the Fox. That's an aggressive frame. Slow fire rate, but here's the thing. With this, if I body shot them, then I can clean up with a body shot kill from Not Forgotten. And the same premise for a Dust Rock Blues. If you compare it to a Toil and Trouble, to a Parcel Stardust, to a Perfect Paradox, to a Mindbenders, Dust Rock has the furthest one hit kill. So if I'm slightly out of that one hit kill distance, I would say, this tree looks like it's uh, at that distance. If I do that, they're probably half health, maybe a quarter of their health remaining. And so just one headshot, done. But the way that Not Forgotten works is as a perk called Magnificent Hell. Rapidly landing two precision shots grants a short period of bonus damage into your next kill or miss. So again, damage him. Maybe he's half health, maybe he's a quarter, but one headshot, he's dead, move to his teammate, another headshot, Magnificent Hal Prox, and another headshot to kill the second person. So you can sort of answer that same um, scenario, except with the primary instead of a second shotgun shot. For example, if I use Perfect Paradox, the answer would be shoot the person twice and shoot the teammate twice if you had the ammo. So a gun like Dust Rock Blues is very very good for ammo conservation for making the most out of each special ammo pickup so you don't have to necessarily run shotgun scavengers you could even run like grenade launcher scavengers sword scavengers rocket scavengers and since they're both legendaries you could even pair a ward cliff coil a tractor cannon a whisper of the worm you could throw on Inertia override with a whisper, body shot some people. The possibilities are endless. So I highly recommend that you get yourself one of these dust rocks. Uh, in the energy slot, yes, the retold tail is good, but from my short testing, dust rock blues kills consistently further, but also in the energy slot is not forgotten. So if you use retold tail, you'd probably want to use maybe like ace of spades or something. I've even been doing this combo right here, where I use a submachine gun with peacekeepers, shoot them from a distance, they're half health, maybe a quarter, clean up with bad reputation, and then I inertia override slide over ammo, reloads it, I get my kill clip, right? I reload it, and you tear people up. Look at the stray speed with peacekeepers. This is obnoxious. And on a map like Endless Veil, vale, this is totally a usable loadout. Like, I will totally use this in a commentary at some point. This is a live commentary, by the way. I'm going to link some gameplay at the end of this, but I, I just wanted to talk briefly about shotguns so you could hear my opinions on the Dust Rock Blues since I taught you how to farm for it yesterday. So your alternatives for shotguns in this slot is going to be the Rapid Fire, which is great for dealing with multiple simultaneous targets, 
or dumping a shitload of ammo on one unfortunate soul. It does it the fastest. If you're stuck in between both of these and you can't decide, then maybe go for an aggressive frame because it increases the rate of fire after a kill. And if you combo that with full auto and maybe even assault mag, don't feel like you're married to Akra's rounds by any means. If you combo those two, it becomes almost equivalent to something like this rapid fire frame after a kill. So you have a pretty decent one shot kill range, but after that it opens up the possibility of dealing with simultaneous targets a little bit easier. And then same thing for rapid fire frame, except on a lightweight frame, having full auto plus assault mag can give you a pretty equal rate of fire from out of the gate. So think of this as a rapid fire frame shotgun, but instead of having full auto inherence, you get lightweight inherent. So you move faster with the weapon and that might translate to sprint speed. And you can of course combo that with speed boots like the Dune Marchers and run even faster when you have it out. Just food for thought. A uh, Parcel Stardust also has opening shot as a possible roll, which might make it better for one shot kill ranges, but I cannot get over the one shot kill consistency of Dust Rock Blues. It is so awesome. Well, that about covers it, I guess. So I'm gonna link some gameplay at the end of this. It's gonna be a big kill game. Not really going to be doing anything fancy, but you'll see the Not Forgotten and the Shotgun, you know, come out and play. I really do stand by Not Forgotten being the best primary, and you will certainly see that put to work. Thanks for watching, guys. Very aggressive loadout. Oh, Pulse Monitor actually did something. I envy your strength, Titan. Uh, anyway, I got auto-loading holster and Pulse Monitor on it, so it feels kind of like a botheration, but with more range, if you can believe that. It does kill at a further distance. Oh, free Wardcliffe coil. Don't mind if I do. See ya! Only one? Auto loading holster, fly true. Oh, this is not going to end well for the enemy team. Oh, three of them. Watch this. Let me go get a new angle. Shoulder charge from behind. Linear actuator is activate, and he's dead. I don't even have to deal with him. Or shoot him, because he's already dead. You know what I was going for. I use my shoulder charge more as a mobility tool, but considering I have my super, I don't really need it. Mistakes were made, weren't they? Chase me down with the shotgun, will ya? Five minutes. Plenty of time to fight.
Holy shit. A true titan. Triple down. Fantastic work. In first place, the lead double down. Double down, three opponents down. Fantastic work. Seconds, end them. <laughs> 